become the UFC middleweight champion of the world. Here he is, the number one middleweight contender. For a long time, this man has been one of the best 85ers in the world, but this title fight eluded him. It is here right now, he is healthy, he is smack dab in the middle of his prime, and he believes he is the best 85er in the world and is out to prove just that tonight and walk away with 12 pounds of UFC gold. As he makes his way towards his cage, he believes this is his time. He believes he is destined to take this title. His preparation for this bout has gone absolutely according to plan. He's in fantastic shape with a great game plan, and he expects to walk out of his cage tonight as the new champion. So here's the undisputed UFC middleweight champion of the world making the walk, looking to defend his title. It is certainly something that he's been able to do in the past. He has been challenged on this title run. It's not as though he has run roughshod through this division, but they're all still chasing him at 185 pounds tonight. At least on paper, could be his most difficult challenge today. The champion is in focus. He is in his prime. He's making his way towards the cage. His training for this camp has been absolutely spectacular. He believes he has a solid game plan, and his mentality coming into this fight is clear and focused. Our tale of the date for this middleweight championship fight. So more than 10 years apart, these two fighters. Some differences in height and reach as well. And now to get us started, here is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. The action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the sold-out United Center in Chicago, Illinois. Record on. 13 wins, three losses, and two draws. He stands six feet one is tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, presenting the challenger, Horse Racing. And now he's the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record on. 15 wins, no losses. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Ladies and gentlemen, the reigning, defending UFC middleweight champion, Israel, the last defender, Alistair. All right, this is for the championship. You've been given your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. You will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. The fighters touch him up. Ready to fight. Ready. All right, here we go. The wait is over. The UFC's 185-pound title is up for grabs right here, right now. Straight right, he misses. Just out of range with the straight left hand. He's, che he's checking every single one of those. Nice defense on the single leg takedown. You can tell he's worked on that. This is a this is a bit of a chess battle here. That one hurt. Israel Adesanya gets caught with that punch. Gotta shore up the defense here. Oh, he left his head wide open to absorb that straight hand. He has shown a vulnerability here by leaning in right into his opponent's range.
just over three minutes to go, round one. Tried to set up the straight left, but he missed. Very nice. Oh, both men exchange. Going to the head kick here, it's there. First takedown attempt is there. He's going after that rear naked choke here. Looks like he's got it now. He rolls on. He's got it under the chin now. He's trying to go palm to palm. That choke is deep. That rear naked choke is getting tighter and tighter. He may have to There's tap the any second. He got the choke for the tap. Well, yeah, Joe, you could tell he's been working on his submission game. That was really a choke that was set up perfectly. He got it sunk in deep, and his opponent was going to go to sleep if he didn't tap out, so he took the lesser of two evils, and he's forced to tap. And here we see it again from a second angle. Cuts off the blood supply, and there's the tap. And let's watch it here one more time. Deep submission and the tap. Well, you're gonna have to be pretty perfect to get this guy off the throne. There he is, the UFC's undisputed middleweight champion. Complete performance here tonight, and it ends with a win by way of submission. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, one second of the very first round. Declaring the winner by tap out due to a rear naked choke. And you will see a middleweight champion of the world, Royce Gracie. All right, so a major result here tonight as we continue to digest it. A submission win by the number one contender, and he is now the new UFC middleweight champion. A tough night for the incumbent, an amazing night for the challenger, and he is celebrating the result in his corner right now.